The sea itself and the land, it nurtures us, you know, give us what we live off. It has been for time began. We're so proud to be a Yanua people and knowing that we work with the country. You look after it and it looks after you. For Yanua mob, enchantment, respect, trust, family, they're the things that actually bring about practical outcomes and that is healthy country that feeds back into healthy people. talk to them old people and there's this really sophisticated stories about who can take certain species at what time according to family, you know, them four clans and really sophisticated natural resource management in Whitefella parlance. These clan groups are called Wudalia, Wuyalia, Wumbria, Mambalia. They have got special tasks that they do. They have special areas they look after. Each one of those clans got their own certain work and purpose, how to, how to fix things up in country, how to look after it. But when we come together, it all fits and we have this one big plan together. It makes it perfect for everybody to utilize their skills towards making it better for this country. That is why the ranger groups, we work it out together, each and every one of them. Each boys have their own things, what they can do, and the other person can do other stuff. But when it comes together and they help each other out, they make it happen for everybody else. Yeah, there are no real bosses here. I've got skills that Leonard hasn't got. Leonard's got skills I haven't got. We put them all together and we get a really good working relationship. For this part of the country, there's no baseline data. Very little scientific information whatsoever, but there's thousands and thousands of years of close observation and finely grained knowledge from Yanua traditional owners. A lot of scientists are starting to hook into that. They can see the value of that knowledge at last. It's been a long struggle to get that message through. We've set up a junior ranger program, and I think there's a continuity where them old people are passing on what they know to us. It's then to us to pass that information through, that knowledge that goes back at least 8,000 years in this country, and probably a lot longer than that, in fact. I grew up out bush and grew up on my mum's side with all my grandfather and my nana. and learned a lot of things about culture and language and ceremony and law. Went to Darwin for high school. I finished year 12 and studying conservation and land management. I always wanted to be a ranger since high school. And I went to Alice Springs. I was still doing tourism and ranger course down there. I finally got the job down here. I've been a sea ranger for a year and a half now. Okay. Only a small ghost, but it still does a bit of damage. The annual mod, they are so grateful that we've taken kids out to the island. We're showing them country, we give them language for each and every places that they visit because it's been carried down from generation to generation. Just the knowledge and the language and everything and the culture together, it makes it strong for the Yanua people. It carries it in their heart. So the areas you find the strongest biodiversity values are the areas where countrymen are living on country. So it's no accident that those species are healthy, the numbers are high, it's because people are living there. That wilderness thing, that's just nonsense, you know? This is managed country. People look after this country. Kids are busy on this video game and everything else, whereas before we, old people used to sit us down and speak to us in real meaningful way and telling us these are the things that you've got to keep going carrying on for you and your kids all the way through. When we moved away when I was 10, just wanted to come back ever since. If I wouldn't have found a job here, I wouldn't have came back. I probably would have ended up doing, I don't know, apprenticeship and something, probably mechanics. My dad kept annoying me in Alice Springs to get into the mines, but I kept telling him to wait, that I'd get the job. And yeah, I got it and took off back home. Being indigenous rangers on your own country, you know, looking after it, you know, that's, that's the best thing. Jobs for new generations to come. A lot of kids back when I was in primary school didn't get the chance to come out here. There was no rangers. But now with the junior rangers, it's good because we've got rangers to bring the kids out and educate them about their land. I'm so proud to be a, to one of the Antarwiri a ranger man. And with other boys, I'm proud of them as well. Because this is something that gives us some pride in ourselves, knowing that we're part of this, part of this um, program that's going to 
help this place keep it strong as it were in the old days.